try not to forget that he's my whole world, not just another kid with a cough. Explain things in terms I can understand, like I do with my customers. At our age, we confuse rather easily. Hey, give me some credit. I'm doing the asthma action plan and rocking a 3.5 GPA. Patients expect more from their healthcare experience. PMSI gets that. We give you the quality, compassionate healthcare that you expect and deserve. PMSI for life. Meet Dan and his dog Bongo. They started their own dog biscuit company, but Dan wanted more. So Dan worked with Fast Signs. They created a plan to attract more customers, get more business, wag more tails. Still, Dan wanted more, and Fast Signs provided more. Fast Signs help with digital displays, mobile marketing, merchandising, fleet graphics, and more. Now Dan has more sales, more locations, more of the good life. And more is exactly what Fast Signs delivers. More than fast, more than signs, more than 530 locations worldwide. Tired of the same old pizza shops and restaurants? Come bring the whole family for an experience unlike any other. Where else can the kids sail on one of two pirate ships and play with SpongeBob or Elmo in our 6,000 square foot family fun center while enjoying the area's best pizza, pasta, cheesesteaks, hoagies, salads, and much more from our huge menu? We pride ourselves in making everything from scratch and using only the finest ingredients. Book your birthday party or rent our banquet room that seats up to 50 people. Come try the boardwalk, where we bring the beach to Pottstown. For over 50 years, O'Donnell, Weiss & Matei has helped our clients resolve a wide variety of legal challenges. OWM Law provides legal representation to clients throughout southeastern Pennsylvania. Our attorneys and our highly trained support staff utilize the latest technology and resources available to satisfy the needs of our clients. O'Donnell, Weiss & Matei, delivering the highest level of professional service. Conveniently located with offices in Pottstown and Phoenixville. The leaves have fallen. The frost beckons the winter air. Put another log on the fire and stay right there. It's time for the playoffs on PCTV. CTV Network proudly presents District 1 Football Playoff Action. It is Strathaven and Potts Grove. Hello, everybody. I'm Al Canosa, joined by my partner, Bernie Gallagher. And, boy, Strathaven seems like we've been doing these games forever. And 10 years ago, we were doing the games down there in Wallingford with a tough Strathaven team. And here they are again. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. Historically, this rivalry has provided us with some unforgettable games. Tonight should be no exception. You break it down and look at Strathaven, the visiting team, the Panthers, coming out of the Central League, led by Hall of Fame coach Kevin Clancy, a proud program that has captured 11 Central League titles, 11 district titles, and two state championships. Their attack is spearheaded by their 1,000-yard rusher, Tavon Howie, the Falcon heartbreaker from two years ago, and he loves to run behind the L train, as in number 73, Eric Leggett, 300-pound tackle. Defensively, they're led by the sack master, number 89, Kevin Sherry. This kid is a man-child. Al, special teams, their number one strength, kickoff return, Pottsgrove's number one weakness, kickoff coverage that bodes well for the Panthers. Al, they're from Delaware County. They're blue-collar kids. They're tough. I expect them to come out and be physical tonight. You know, Pottsgrove gets a lot of uh, prints and ink and mention for their offense, but their defense has been great. 
This is a defense that plays with reckless abandon. They run sideline to sideline with a burning desire to get to the football. If you look at this defense on our dry erase board, Pottsgrove sits in a 5-2. That means they have five down linemen, two linebackers. Strathaven, their typical Delaware wing tee, tight end and wing to the right, offset back, only one wide receiver. The triangle of pain, as I call it, in the middle, nose tackle. Anthony Pond, two very good linebackers in Brennan and Adam. They stuff the middle. And now you gotta remember, Al, what the wing tee tries to done, try to tries to do in principle, attack the edge, players with dual responsibility. Your outside backers, your defensive end. What does Penny Packer do? You counter with Michael and Polamalu, two hybrid athletes who can play pass or run, add in a plethora of athleticism. Bearfield returning from injury tonight. Mays or Miller in the middle, and the best lockdown, shutdown corner in the league in, in Michael Fowler. Play man to man, eight in the box, stuff the run. Offensively, this team has produced more touchdowns, more points, and more points per game than any team in Pac 10 history. And for the fifth year in a row, not one, but 2,000 yard rushers running behind all state tackle Madison O'Connor, 6'6, 335 pounds. Special team solidified soccer player John Klinger, uh, Klinger doing a magnificent job. 35 extra points, that's number one in the area. I think the keys for the Falcons, ball security, physicality, and composure. Al, it's the playoffs, man. Game on. All right, we will have your opening kickoff coming up right after this. Are you tired of looking at that dark and dingy car you're driving? For over 50 years, Rocket Car Wash, with its expert care and technology, has cleaned thousands of cars. We'll help restore the luster and brilliance of your car with special attention to the fine details often missed elsewhere. We'll also offer hard-to-find accessories for your convenience. Let the folks at Rocket Car Wash give your car new life with a shine that will have it looking just like it came off the showroom floor. Rocket Car Wash, West High Street, Pottstown. Meet Joe Can Do That. Joe Can Do That can fix anything. He can fix your car. He can fix your vacuum cleaner. He can even fix your electrical problems. But do you really want him to? Call Gehringer Mechanical today for all your electrical needs. Joe Can Do That does. Mishak Physical Therapy & Associates has a state-of-the-art, warm water, chemical-free aquatic therapy pool to decrease your pain and improve your function. Our pool uses an ionizing system with no chlorine, bromine, or other substances that may irritate the skin. Studies show that aquatic therapy can decrease pain faster, increase cardiovascular stamina, and improve muscle strength and flexibility. Mishak combines hands-on treatment with aquatic therapy to give you the best opportunity to recover. We serve patients of all ages with flexible hours and individual programs. Mishak Physical Therapy, we are here to serve you. And there's the Potts Grove sidelines. They will be receiving the football to start out. Now we want to thank uh, Athletic Director Gary Dorenzo making us feel very welcome. And of course, a utmost heartiest congratulations to the Potts Grove boys cross country team, state champions. Yeah. Wow. Yep. Yeah, not too shabby. Squib kick, hard one to handle. 
Pick up by Michael Fowler, who finds a little crack. Closes quickly, but good starting position for Potsgrove at the run 36. Yeah, schematically, you gotta love uh, the squib kick, but the only problem is you kick it away from number seven, not right to him. We saw Perk Valley last week, a great, uh, terrific season. Congratulations to Scott Reed. But they kicked the ball to Jared Jones twice, and he goes 90 and 90. <laughs> Those things can happen when you kick the ball. I guess Jones and Fowler, you would consider the two best return men in the league. As you watch tonight's action, look across the Strathaven sidelines, you may be shocked by the, man, not a lot of players on that team. Pottsgrove on the ground. As we expect they will do, try to establish the ground game. Yeah, don't be deceived. You can only put 11 on the field at a time. This team has played Ridley tough. They played Haverford tough. Both teams ranked in the state, Class 4A. Remember this, Strathaven competes in a 4A league. Yeah. They're used to warm water. Potsgrove gets a break five weeks a year with Upper Perk, Pottstown, Pope John Paul playing AAA teams. Uh, obviously, they get a lot more points playing 4A. Next year, you get points even if you lose. Second down and seven out of the shotgun. Hudgens has Brandon in the backfield. He's going to keep it. Late pitch has Dukes, who's lowered the head and powered for about a yard. Good defense by Strathaven. Looked like Brian Meisel, Mizell, tackle. And let us not forget, one year ago, almost to the day, Pottsgrove was 0-4 against Strathaven. Heartbreak Hotel every year, and it was 29-28 overtime. Probably one of the top three games ever played in this stadium. Rick Pennypacker goes for two in overtime. Robbie Curtin follows the 330-pound O'Connor in to win the ball game. What a game that was. Third and six for the Grove. They have to get up to their own 46. Hudgens wants to chuck it, steps up, and he's taken down well shy of his first down. Tackle by Brady Logan. And Pottsgrove will be three and out on its first drive. Yeah, I am not surprised. If Rick Pennypacker and I are on the same page. Strathaven is a lot better than people realize. They have multiple players out to injury. They're back. This is no joke. This is good. The road to a district title and state playoffs is going to be a tough one. Now they were left-footed and over-end punt. Fumbled and picked up. And good coverage on the play by Pottsgrove. Tackle on the play for the Grove by Andre Smith. So the Panthers will have the ball when we come back. car accident, you're having problems with your neck, your low back, you're having migraine headaches. If you're suffering, you need to see us first. We can help. On first down, Strathaven hands the ball to Tavon Howie, and he is stuffed for a yard loss by a wave of Pottsgrove tacklers. They come out in that Delaware wing tee. Here you have only one back in the backfield, double wing, but only one wide receiver. Jet sweep for Strathaven and a pretty big gainer by number 27, Anthony Myers, who was close to a first down. This is what they do. Kevin Clancy, a Westchester grad, he was an excellent uh, football player teammate of mine down there for the Golden Rams. They run multiple schemes out of the wing tee. They come out in double wing, they run that jet sweep. Next thing you know, they're moving the sticks. They manage the game, get it into the fourth quarter with body punches, and find a way to win. It's going to be Myers again. He breaks the first tackle by Brennan, but Brennan has help coming up. Good defense by the left side of the Pottsgrove defense. So many unsung heroes on this defense. Patrick Finn, number 70. Number 72, Max Wickward. And nine, Jalen Mays. 
uh, you know, we've heard about Birch and Fowler and all the boys, and it sure is nice to see Marquise Bearfield back from a broken collarbone about six weeks ago. Second down and 10. He barely got back to the line of scrimmage. Devon Howie will take the handoff. He gets another big chunk of yards, and that could be another Strathaven first down. Devon Howie is an electric running back. This is the kid that broke the hearts of Falcon Nation two years ago in 10th grade. Devon Howie had a career game in the district championship down at Coatesville. PCTV Network was there. Jim Algio and I did the game. I've never seen a more despondent group, Terrell Chestnut and the boys, after the game near the bus with Coach Penny Packer. That is perhaps the low point emotionally of Falcon football. That was a heartbreaking loss. Kevin Mulholland, the quarterback, calling the signals. As you look at the end zone cam. Looks like Howie again. Powers over the right side, scratches out a yard, a couple of yards. And they're going to attack that triangle of pain and the edge, that triangle of pain being that nose tackle, Anthony Pond sitting right behind him, two of the best linebackers in the Pac-10 in Adams and Brennan. There you see the Falcon front four. Now they got four yards on that first down run. Here goes Myers with a little counter play. He's still battling for some extra yards. Potts over there and waves. That's going to bring up third down and about four. You could not have scripted a better start to this football game. Uh, they're, half the first quarter is gone already. It seems listless over here. There's no yeah. motion in the stands, on the sideline. They're just chewing up the clock, managing the offense. This is what Strathaven does. This is how they won two state championships. Now they have uh, no wide receivers and a double wing. They are going to hand it to Howie. has a big hole. Tripped up by Mays, or he might have taken it in the end zone, but it's a first down for Strathaven. This kid averages seven yards a pop his entire career, 3,000 yards in his career. He is the real deal. He's strong, he's physical, he's fast. Some people thought this would be an easy game for Pottsgrove. I have been contesting all week. P Strathaven is no joke. They're used to the 4A warm waters. You better strap that uh, chin strap up right now. Here goes Myers behind Howie. Brennan got a hold of him, pulled him down after a very short game. And a lot of their offense comes behind the L train. E.L., Eric Leggett, number 73, 300 pounds. These are tough Delaware County blue collar kids. They're gonna line up and hit you. Now you're in four down territory. So, you, you know, your play card selection sheet is looking real good right now on second down. When I look at Leggett, his uniform is uh, staging a battle. <laughs> to keep everybody in. 6'3", <laughs> 300 pounds. Second down, about seven and a half. Straight up eye. Myers this time off left guard. Taken down by Fowler. And he gets inside, just inside the 15 yard line. We'll bring a third down and short for the Panthers. Pottsgrove a little slow out of the gates one week ago against Phoenixville. For some reason, Phoenixville always plays them tough, especially down there. That was a 14-7 game into the fourth quarter, but Pottsgrove put it away late to become the undisputed champions of the Pac-10 2012. They're down at a little less than a yard. T formation. Tavon Howie breaks through the initial wave of tacklers and will have a first and goal for the Panthers just inside the 10-yard line. Well, momentum equals mass time velocity. If you look on the left of your screen, you'll see number 73 in a white shirt, uh, E.L. Eric Leggett. I mean, this kid's got good feet, and he weighs 300 pounds. That's a lot of momentum coming at you. Strathaven all on the ground. Here we go again, Tavon Howie. 
has another opening right up the middle and takes it down to the five yard line. Yeah, he's not your prototypical fullback. In the Delaware wing tee, you put your tailback at fullback. The halfbacks will lead block for him. Christian Allen, when I coached at Pottstown, was an electric. Barry Sanders kind of a running back. His senior year, we moved him to what's called fullback, but you're technically really a tailback, and that's what Howie gives you. Number three is a very good football player. He lines up with Myers in the backfield. It's going to be Howie again. Number three, the fullback. Taken down, nice defense by Seti Polamalu with some help, looked like from Jalen Mays who knifed in there. Well, this is big. They've got to hold them to at least a field goal attempt. They're in proximity to the goal line now, knowing Kevin Clancy and his competitive nature, I believe he'll go for a touchdown. You're oh, yeah. on the road, you're the heavy underdog. What's Yogi say? You're the overwhelming underdog. <laughs> There's our oxymoron of the night. I didn't call you a moron. No, I know, okay. I know. <laughs> you wouldn't do that. You're an oxymoron. <laughs> <laughs> Tavon Howie into the end zone for the touchdown. He broke the first tackle. And Strathaven is on the board. Well, this is touchdown number 20 on the season for number three. Seven yards a pop behind that right side. A lot of beef on that right side. And now you bring on a pretty solid soccer player. The kicker, number 17. Mark Shilba. And it is good. Now Strathaven just churns up the yardage of the ground. They are on the board with a 7-0 lead. We'll be back with more after this. Catilla's Restaurant is located in the beautiful village of Sanatoga, just east of Pottstown. Catilla's Restaurant offers lunch, dinner, and takeout Tuesday through Sunday. Catilla's offers off-premise catering and corporate delivery, as well as our beautiful banquet facilities. The Creekside Lounge is open six days a week and features entertainment and good times. Catilla's Restaurant, relaxed dining with a view. And here you can see the Delaware wing tee, but multiple schemes. That's just straight up mano and mano. And Brennan, one of the top linebackers in the Pac-10, takes on Howie, and Howie wins that battle. Al, I don't know if anyone told Pottsgrove, but if you lose tonight, you're done. Yeah. They better wake up in a hurry. Well, Howie, according to Rian Astam, our stat guy, 52 yards on that drive on seven carries. That is Quadir Miller. Oh, Quadir hit hard, the ball is on the ground, and I think Pottsgrove has it. Ooh, Boy. they are lucky. Boy, they dodged a bullet there. Miller, Q Miller, one of the stars of the Falcon team this year, he get like a bolt of lightning in behind that wedge, and then he just gets popped, and the ball is separated immediately. You have to anticipate collisions on kickoff return. Uh, you, you take a little satter, a lateral sidestep, a slash, you go down, but they don't get a helmet on the football. I got 87 on the recovery for Pottsgrove. I don't have that in my program. But he's, he might, might have saved the night. Good hit by John Fender from Strathaven. Hudgens chucks it deep, has a man out there, but the coverage is great, and he's thinking he caught it anyway. Fowler pulled it in anyway. A splendid catch by Michael Fowler. We saw his older brother, Johnny Fowler, do this for three years. He's one of the best basketball players in the Pac-10. He's one of the best football players in the Pac-10. He's only in 10th grade. Wow. It seems like he's been around for five years. Imagine how bright this kid's future is. In my opinion, he's the number one defender on the hoops court, and he showed that athleticism right there. Pottsgrove for the first down just inside the Strathaven 30. Trying to get a little bit of yardage there with Brennan and Strathaven says no go. Gotta love the call from Pottsgrove. Take a vertical shot down the field. Hope for a big play. Hudgens has a strong arm. 
He just has not been asked to develop the proficiency because they run the ball so well. That is just excellent oh, coaching. Man. You do that in practice. You go up for the tip drill, and then you anticipate the ball being in flight and recovering before the D-back does. What an effort. Second down, about nine. Handoff Dukes trying to get it outside, cannot do it. Strathaven there with good pursuit, the tackle by Peter Samaro. I guess that's how you say it. Hopefully Peter won't watch in case, <laughs> in case I get it wrong. His name's Al Ganoza, yep. and I approve this message. <laughs> Thankfully he won't be hearing that for a while. Third down at about nine and a half. See if Pasco puts it up. They're in the shotgun. They've tossed it a couple times already, which is two more times than Strathaven has. And I think we have a timeout. Yep, Pasco is going to talk about it. Big play coming up here. 119 left first period, and the visitors on top by seven. Zimmer's pets, Zimmer's pets, Zimmer, Zimmer, Zimmer's pets, 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 Zimmer's pets, Zimmer's Back for Potsgrove's third down play, third down and nine. Brennan, the single setback behind Hudgens. Flag goes, Hudgens is going to about the 20 yard line, will be close to a first down, but I think it is coming back. Yep, illegal shift by Potsgrove. Well, these are the little things that make the big differences. Potsgrove unbelievably out, 26 penalties all year. Let's listen for the call. No, I guess we already got it, but I mean, that's incredible. 2.6 yeah. penalties per game. That's how you win eight Pac-10 titles. And throw in the two Chessmont titles and the two Interact titles. Pottsgrove Falcon Nation has captured 12 championships in the sport of football. Amazing. Yeah, that'll probably change the play call. Or not. Yep, there's Hudgens. Hudgens looks like he wants to throw it. Nope, now he wants to run it. Strathaven is not having any of it. And even Hudgens can't get away from that trouble. And he is taken back, way back around midfield. And it's at number 45 again, Peter Samaro. He had a touchdown down the middle, 83. Adams was wide open, uncovered, a blown coverage. But because of the pressure, and look at number 89. He's an impact player. Kevin Sherry makes a difference. You've got to know where he is at all times. I anticipate they will audibleize to run away from number 89. Remember, Strathaven fumbled the punt the last time, and they fumble it again. And I think Pottsgrove has it this time. They do. And it looks like Michaels with a recovery. At least that's who we're following off the field. Well, special teams, part of the big three. Special teams, penalties, and turnovers. We saw all three in the last couple plays, and now you see a turnover on special teams. This is, this is what separates Strathaven that wins state championship and Strathaven that does not win state championship. You can't do that in your own red zone. Brennan powering inside the 20, getting down to the 17 yard line. That's a gain of about five or six on first down. Red zone proficiency so important if you wanna, in the equation of winning football, and there, there is gonna, that's going to be the end of the first quarter. Botsgrove gets a new life. When they fumble the kickoff, they recover their own. And this time they recover a Strathaven fumble on the punts. Nothing could be finer than eating at the new VIP diner. 
Whether it's breakfast, lunch, dinner, or a midnight snack, the food and service at the new VIP diner will have you coming back. Now that's my story, and that's a fact. The new VIP diner is definitely back. Because you have better things to do than to wait hours in an ER waiting room. PMMC will have you initially seen by a clinical professional in 30 minutes or less. Now with average wait times online or on your smartphone. And to add peace of mind, our doctors and highly trained staff are backed by a full range of diagnostic capabilities to care for both big and small emergencies. Get faster quality care. PMMC ER Service Pledge with posted average wait times. Learn more at PottstownMemorial.com. And welcome back for the second quarter. Potsgrove, the bulk of their offense has come on the pass. It was the last time you heard of a Potsgrove first quarter that way. Strathaven, all their yards on that first drive, 75 yards rushing. Brennan has a first down, or at least it looks like it, to the 11-yard line. He found a hole right up the middle. Yeah, it's all about this offensive line. You have four. New starters, that's what surprised everyone this year. When you lose the quality of football players, they had 10 outstanding seniors on last year's Pottsgrove District Champion team, and to just reload the way they did, a real credit to the coaching staff. Hudgens has gone up top a couple of times. He won't do it this time, he'll keep it himself and have a touchdown. You know, in the dictionary next to the word winner, you should put, you know, example, Tory Hudgens, number five, who, by the way, this week was offered a full scholarship to play college football at Bucknell, wow. Division One, And also Madison O'Connor offered a full ride to play in Hawaii. Wow. I, I would take that right oh, there. Yeah. <laughs> and he said, we can come visit him, Al. <laughs> we'll take the train. <laughs> Kick is up. And it's no good. Oh, the woes continue. Oh, my goodness gracious. Wow. Well, the Falcons answer with a touchdown thanks to the turnover. They're still down eight points. I want a professional heating company with heating and cooling service plans. A company that considers my needs. I want the security of price protection plans along with 24-hour emergency service and heating oil delivery. I want comfort. I want Olert Brothers. Olert Brothers, still family and still local. Ask about our America-friendly and environment-friendly agri-fuels, bio-heat, and bio-diesel. When it comes to heating and the environment, there's only one choice. Thanks, Olert Brothers. No, they're not. <laughs> Potsgrove to kick off again. As they did, uh, no, this is their first time kicking off. Well, you better I be bet. careful. And having coached special teams for a lot of years, number 27 in a white shirt averages 30 yards per kickoff return. There is no way you can kick the football to number 27. He is one of the best return men in the state. One of the up guys deflects it, goes down to one knee, and they're gonna blow it down. Boy, I'll take that. Anytime you have a guy like that back there, no problemo. Take the ball in the 25 in high school football, you gotta like it. Now Pottsgrove defensively through the years has flip-flop people. If you have a defensive end that's perhaps a little stronger against the run, like Polamalu, perhaps a little bigger than Michaels, maybe flip-flop him and bring him over to this side uh, to line up against Leggett, because they seem to be a right-handed team. Potsgrove bringing everybody up in the box. And that play was going nowhere. Myers got the handoff and disappeared. And boy, it is heartwarming to see number 25 in a maroon shirt on the field. He worked really hard in his physical therapy. Marquise Bearfield for the Falcons. Excellent basketball player as well. And he's back from a broken collarbone. Good. Great player. Had a great year last year as a sophomore. Again, Pottsgrove, everybody seems to be within five yards of the line of scrimmage. Jet sweep to Michael Michella. 
Turns the corner for a small gain. Will bring up third down and perhaps Strathaven's longest yardage on third down at seven. Just can't say enough about number four, Polamalu. Uh, Senny, the younger brother of Micah, his progression week in, week out, and that's due to hard work and practice. He is the Bill Belichick mentality. Just do your job, stay at home, don't get over eager, be a solid defensive player, and boy, he only a junior, he is playing at a stellar level. Strathaven will keep it on the ground. They're gonna try to run for it. They give it to Howie, and Howie is not gonna get it, so Strathaven on the three and out. A lot of people asking me all week, how good is this Pottsgrove team historically? In my opinion, they're not there yet. You're not in the conversation yet with the 00 and the 01 team. You're not in the conversation yet with the 09 team. The ter when you look and you saw on that team, Terrell Chestnut, Kayvon Green, Micah Polamalu, Preston Hamlet, you're talking Division I football. These kids got to win a district title and go to states to even get in that conversation. Mizell with a nice looking punt. And it's going to hit and then be picked up by Fowler. Fowler has an avenue. Wow, well, now he has a highway. And Fowler down the sidelines. Touchdown. Coming back. Oh, we're going to fly. Where, where was that fly? That was right around the 40-yard line. They are going to call oh, blocking man. behind the back. Strathaven's aware of Fowler, but they choose to kick it to him. This is why, what he does. He's the best punt returner in the Pac-10. He is electric, and right around there, they're going to call a block in the back. That's like, boy, from that angle, I didn't quite. It didn't appear to be anything blatant. Coach Pennypacker's not happy. No, I, I think he disagrees with the call, <laughs> and he will let you know it. As you watch from our reverse ground level camera, watch to the right of your screen. Fowler, a vapor trail up the right sideline. Right there, a little bit of a push with the oh, left yeah. hand. Man, that's a tough call. Yep. I don't know if I'm, I'm going to make that call. Now, the good news for Pottsgrove is it comes midway through the run, so it only backs them up to their own 48, which is still excellent field position. Brennan quickly through that hole in an instant. It's down to the 45. Man, I'll tell you, Brennan, one of the, the coaches got to love this guy. You lose Robbie Curtin, who was a league MVP candidate one year ago. Curtin in that Strathaven game, besides scoring the two-point conversion to win the game in overtime, had 14 tackles on defense. Brennan, a full-time defensive player one year ago, all he does now, he doesn't come off the field, and he averages about seven, eight yards a carry from that fullback spot. Second down, about three and a half for the Grove. Hudgens wants to chuck it, has a man wide open over the middle, it's Adams, and it's gonna be a touchdown. Wow. Extraordinary call, Jim Algio Jr. and the crew up here in the box with us. They saw the same thing that we saw about 10 minutes ago. Adams was wide open, a blown coverage down the middle, and that's just great coaching, tremendous play call, and Adams, the basketball player, kind of an athlete that he, that he is, gets the nice soft touch. Hudgens, boy, he has a high percentage of proficiency despite not being asked to throw much. Now, a very important two-point conversion. We'll try to run it right up the gut. It's not going to get done. We saw Adams emerge in the playoffs as a sophomore one year ago, number 83. He's an excellent blocker, a tremendous defensive middle linebacker, even though he's built more like a basketball player. And when asked to haul it in, he has excellent hands. And one of the students, the only student in the end zone, probably to pay attention up there cheering. Boy, you gotta love this. Our PCTV network, Gus Tallis in the truck, giving us all the angles. We have a lot of our students here from Pottstown High School, our student interns helping us out. Man, you get sky, sky cam, ground cam, reverse cam. Yeah. Even got an Al Ganoza cam. I know, as frightening good, as that is. Good to have you here, ABC anchor Al Ganoza. Thank you. Nice yeah, to be, I had to miss your, last week. Your charity fundraiser a little while ago, a Bachelor Al, where you 
went out on various states around Harrisburg and yep. donated the money to a charity. Yep. We as the Peace TV Network put some money together. We want to sponsor a new one, a new <laughs> charity, and all you have to do is go to Australia and swim with the sharks. Nice. So we're going to fly you over there. I won't mind meeting some of those Australian women. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's a pretty good, good looking kick. Howie having some problems with it. Howie's still having problems with it and may not have it. Oh my. Mm, man, that could have been it. Wise to kick it away from 27. Your other choice is, uh, of course, a dangerous Howie, but nonetheless, uh, he was very fortunate not to turn that over. Pottsgrove swarming to the football. Miller was on him in a flash. Boy, Strathaven, after fumbling that punt, has just disintegrated. This is what Pottsgrove can do to you. They wear you down. They're undefeated. They're number three in the state, and they're going to call a timeout on the field. Coach Petty Packers uh, a little upset. I don't know why. Want to wish a happy Veterans Day to all the brave men and women of our armed forces. That's celebrated this weekend into Monday. Being the son of a Marine sergeant, we have a lot of respect for our men in the military. There you can see the points for 4A. Springford gets a home game, so that is not correct. They are not in the nine hole. That is from one week ago. Right now that we're in week 10, the Pottsgrove is 10-0. But they are the number one seed, which means they get to play home tonight, home next week if they win tonight against one of the best teams in the state, Westchester Henderson. Wow. And then a likely path would be a very good Academy Park team in the district championship. You go on from there, hypothetically, Archbishop Wood, traditionally one of the best teams in the country, followed by an Allentown Central Catholic, and your final reward on the road to Hershey could be number one ranked Bishop McDevitt of Harrisburg, oh, yeah. who is loaded with Division I football players. Yep. The, the road to Hershey in AAA this year is an uphill battle. Now, Strathaven's not going to get it done, just pounds it up the middle. Postgrove has 14 guys loaded up in the box. Yeah, I know, I know they're only supposed to have 11. <laughs> Do they throw the ball at all, Bernie? Uh, they went asked to. Typically, Kevin Clancy will put an athlete at quarterback to manage the offense, body punch you for three quarters, get his team into the fourth quarter. He's got about 500 yards passing. He has a strong arm, but he's not the tallest quarterback in the world. But he's a very good runner. Going to hand a gent sweep to Myers, who has a little bit of a crease and gets it up to the 25-yard line. Looks like he has a first down. Well, this is that re kickoff return guy we're talking about. They find ways to get 27 to touch the football, and he has blazing speed. He is one tackle away from going coast to coast. Good luck to Springford tonight, of course, having that home playoff game against a very good Garnett Valley team. And Phoenixville's on the road. Good luck to Phantom Nation as they travel down to Interboro. That's an interesting ride, a ride I've made a few times. <laughs> Oh, here they're going to pass. Looks that's where they're planted, or is it a designed keeper? Fowler is all over the quarterback, Kevin Mulholland, and it's not much gain at all. Yeah, Fowler on some kind of a cornerback blitz. When you have the athletes that Pottsgrove has, Mays and Miller and Bearfield and Fowler, you can lock down, play man-to-man, -man, put eight guys in the box, cause an effect, you stuff the run, if you have athletes who are on an island and can handle themselves, we saw that it was never more evident than the Perk Valley and the Springford game. Well, he actually lost the yard. I think it was Howie again. Pottsgrove not giving up any yards up the middle of late. What a proud tradition for Strathaven. Dan Connor, now the starting middle linebacker for the Dallas Cowboys. Played for Carolina, set some tackle records at Penn State. For, unfortunately, my season, our undefeated season, came to an end against Dan Connor. Dan Connor led the Strathaven to two state championship, uh, championship. They also had Mark Jones, who made the pros, played at Tennessee. Uh, Josh Hannum had an excellent career at Ursinus. I mean, their, their alumni were amazing. They have at least eight NFL players. Float it downfield. Matt is out there. Good coverage as usual by Marquise Bearfield, who was all over. Number five, John Fender. 
and Fender at 6'3", 190. You gotta like that matchup. Yeah. That's almost like Notre Dame exploits the matchup with some of their taller receivers against diminutive running back. That you gotta like that. You gotta believe they're gonna come back to that. Yeah, at least throw it up there, give them a chance to go up and get it. I know you're happy being a Notre Dame alumni, the Absolutely. Fighting Irish. The question is, will they get into that championship game? the root for a couple people to lose. They don't score the big points, and I think that's what gets you the votes. Pottsgrove will get the ball back, barring a turnover. Wow, that's weird. Line drive punt that will die right around the 40-yard line. So we have 6.32 left to play in the first half. Pottsgrove is on top by five. First down, Terrell Hudgens keeps it and takes it all the way down inside the five-yard line for a first and goal. Well, you can see why Bucknell's in love with this kid. They're recruiting him as an athlete. He can play multiple positions. This is just like a rerun of a film again and again and again. All this kid does is run 50, 60 yards for touchdowns. 3,000 yards rushing in his illustrious career and 30, 40 touchdowns. Are you kidding me? Hudgens hands to Brennan, down close to the goal line. Somebody from Strathaven is signaling they have the football. Well, the referee is two, how did that happen? Turnovers in the red zone, and again, this is inside the five yard line. That is a virtual impossibility. Oh. You know, when you run the option, it's called high risk, high reward. But when you pre-call dive, and I, I believe that was a pre-call dive, you can see the football's a little bit on Brennan's hip, wasn't quite tucked in that bread basket, and that, and then it was kick. Boy, that, we'll see if that looms large with 5.58 till halftime. Never really had the handle. We're gonna give it to Howie to try to punch some yards out of there. He gets up to about the six, maybe the seven. Now we want to send our best out to Pottsgrove assistant coach, Eric Engstrom, former star in Ram Nation, Spring Ford. Him and his wife, Devin, were expecting a baby yesterday. So I'm guessing the coach Engstrom has his pager on. <laughs> I have a pager. Maybe he has a cell phone. I don't know. But uh, <laughs> And you have God, a rotary phone, too. God bless him, and uh, maybe we'll have uh, some real good news before the end of the game. Strathaven, it's second down and seven. Jet sweep, Myers trying to cut back. Oh, Pottsgrove is there in the waves, Riley Michaels in on it, but there were a lot of folks in maroon and white. Well, Bearfield, Michaels, Mays, Miller, they just swarm to the football. As I said in the opening, they play with reckless abandon. They're ripping and stripping. They've created 17 plus turnovers in that turnover category. When you're 17 up in the plus minus turnover category, normally you might be undefeated and ranked number three in the state, and that is what they are. Strathaven has put it up once, I think. Uh-oh, sideline warning against Coach Rick Pennypecker. That's a first. <laughs> 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 he must be, he must be mistaken. <laughs> he is one, of the, oh, he's letting the refs know about it too. He is fiery, man, and his teams reflect that character. He is a fiery guy. I got to see him play in college. He played with my high school quarterback, Danny Kendra, Division I, Westchester, I mean West Virginia, and they were Peach Bowl champions in 1975. Coach Pennypacker, a three-sport star. In, uh, at Springford, he is quite a basketball player. Yeah. 
I actually saw him play in high school. Strathaven third down and forever. They're going to try to run it. Now they insist on pounding it up the middle there with Howie, who had some success early, not lately. And Pottsgrove's going to get the ball back. Yeah, that was big. Now you get good field position. You got plenty of time, four minutes till halftime. But as I alluded to earlier, when you look at who graduated from the Falcon team of last year, Curtin, Bonnenberger, Schollenberger, Ames, Pritchard, Michael, Karan Wilson, DJ Ludi, Johnny Fowler, Sean Figueroa. That's 10 really good football yeah. players. That's what really surprised people when Pottsgrove started rolling scores up, and they now average 43.4 points per game. Unbelievable. Pretty good punt. We'll take a good bounce. Down up right around midfield. And that is where Pottsgrove will have the ball with 326 left to play when we come back. Nobody covers Pac-10 football like the Mercury. Whether you want award-winning coverage and helmet crunching pictures or comprehensive insight, stats and standings, we tackle it all. Look for game day preview coverage every Friday, results every Saturday, and a look back at the weekend every Tuesday with me, Mercury Sports Editor Don Seeley. We keep you ahead of the pack. For home delivery, call 610-970-4500. First down run by Pottsgrove. They're getting very productive first down runs in the last couple drives. Set time was six yards. Al, you got an update from Ram Nation on your phone. Yeah, Spring, uh, Springford losing 7-6 second quarter. Rion Astheimer, our student intern from Pottstown High School, giving us lots of good info. Hudgens keeps it, ran into a pile. That's that man you mentioned before, Kevin Sherry, makes the tackle. Out third down to about a yard. Al, reminder to our fans out there, if you do not have Comcast cable, you can watch this game on the PCTV network live stream. You just Google PCTV Pottstown, go to the, the channels, and this game will be shown 10 times over the next five days, and you can watch it. I have friends on the West Coast watching the game tonight. Third down a couple yards. Hudgens keeps it late pitch. Strathaven, he's there. My, what a play. Number 24, that is John Ruza. First time we've called his name, but he may have saved the night there. No one's wide receivers block better downfield than Pottsgrove, and that's a big play by Strathaven. Number 24, John Ruza coming up, forcing Pottsgrove to punt. Now, it has been a long time since we've seen one of the famous Rick Pennypacker fake punt. If there was ever a time, it's right now on the 45-yard line. I'm tr trying to read Jim Algio's eyes, and. They said punt. <laughs> this time Strathaven fields it at the 16. First time they fielded a punt cleanly tonight. I don't think they're going to be too anxious to do much with it. 138 left to play in the second quarter. Just down the street, there's a hardware store with great tools, products, and expert advice. <laughs> We've got everything you need. Because we know the community. And we know our customers. So next time you have a home improvement project, drop by your local True Value hardware store. True Value. Start right. Start here. Your True Value expert is A.D. Moyer in Gilbertsville and Pottstown. On the web at admoyer.com. Strathaven probably not very anxious to do much with it. They're going to get the ball to start out the second half anyway, and right now they're not in good field position. As I was talking about earlier, we had a lot of action in Berks County, too, undefeated Wyatt missing with an important playoff game. I think I'm going to head up to that tomorrow. Their linebacker committed to Notre Dame, by the way. Oh, yeah. yeah they want to chuck it here. Ideally, he has a couple guys open. Mulholland finds a man. Looks like it's Sherry. Sherry, the go-to guy, their leading receiver. 
Not only is he a defensive stalwart, but he's a big, tall, strong possession receiver, a tight end who blocks well. This is what their quarterback does. He's diminutive. Normally, you do not want to throw across your body back against the field as there is a timeout on the field. Take a look at another angle, and you're talking about cat-like quickness in that Falcon secondary, but you can only cover someone so long. I mean, literally 10 seconds have elapsed, and that's a long time to ask someone to cover. You got the matchup you wanted. You got a, a, a very fleet of foot tight end isolated on a linebacker. That's what football's about. Coach's job is to create matchup and then exploit the matchup. Nice to see Don Seeley, Pottstown Mercury, on the sideline here with Austin Herzog. And a lot of good information coming from our teammate, the Pottstown Mercury newspaper. Yep. Don Seeley, more than just good looks. <laughs> and, and of course, the sexy Gary Dorenzo at halftime, they're oh, going to yeah. have a dodgeball competition. Wow, I don't that feel they're going to be tweeting uh, during it, and you're invited. We'll talk more about that. Myers, so the jet sweep, Pottsgrove is there. It was Jalen Mays. And as usual, every Pottsgrove tackler has help. That's our trivia. Uh, uh, Gary wanted to know if Al knew the five Ds of dodgeball. I didn't know there, were, there was one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, here they are. Okay. Dodge, dart, dip, duck, and uh, dodge. Okay. <laughs> Four or five, round it off. 21.7 <laughs> seconds till halftime. There's a timeout on the field. And, of course, uh, the Lehigh Valley lot of action. So many ranked teams are from southeastern PA this year, especially at the 4A level. And in District 12, St. Joe Prep, a lot of excitement. I watched their game with Wood again last night, Archbishop Wood on replay. They're number 15 in the country. They play LaSalle College High School who's also ranked in the country in some polls. So you almost have a state championship level game class 4A this weekend. One of the best teams around is gonna be eliminated. Archbishop Wood is very good. Ridley Downingtown, East ranked number two in the state. Wow. With the exception of North Allegheny, you work from Harrisburg over, that's where your best football is being played. Easton out of the Lehigh Valley. Governor Mifflin, congratulations to Burks won champions this year. And Scott Reed and Perk Valley finished number 17. 16 go to the big dance, class 4A, and the Vikes missed it by just a couple points. But a great season. It's gonna chuck it deep, a man is out there. Oh, Fowler, nice play. Fowler was all over Myers. Give Mulholland credit. He chucked it a pretty good distance. There are very few people that can run with Anthony Myers. Isolated, on an island, all year. Oh. John, uh, Michael Fowler, basically they're saying you got no help, no safety help over the top. You're in 10th grade, but you're a fantastic athlete. You're covering uh, this guy wherever he goes tonight. In the Perk Valley game, which essentially won the Pac-10 championship, Fowler was assigned to the number one wide receiver in the league, Clay Dominey. And wherever Domini went, he goes to get a hot dog at halftime, Fowler went with him, okay? He gets, on, gets off the bus, Fowler's waiting for him. <laughs> it is real, really a luxury to have an athlete like that on defense. And there's a mental mistake by Myers. I don't understand why they're doing this. I mean, it's fourth down, but there's 14.8 four, seconds yeah, left, but they missed this. Yeah, you can't uh, take a chance to give Pottsgrove the ball on the 42-yard line right with step. an eight or nine Ball second. start. Offense, five-yard penalty, still fourth but, down. Yeah, it would not have gotten them a first down. No. So you really are forced to punt, and that I think Kevin Clancy had that in his back pocket the entire time. I'm not sure why they were trying to draw. Let's see if, uh, boy, if I'm them, I'd kick this right out of bounds. He's just going to hang it up there. Flag flew as the ball was snapped. So that will allow one more play. Formation. Kicking team. Make a procedure against the Five and a re-kick. Yeah, make them punt again. That's what Coach says. Absolutely. You get another chance at a punt block. You get another chance for Fowler to do his thing. Coach Pennypacker emphatically letting his team know, and I'm sure they're going to hear about it at halftime. 
12-7 at halftime does not cut it with Rick Pennypacker. Well, as a punter, I just face the stands and boot this ball as high as I can right for the, right for the bleachers. The assistant coaches for Potts Grove just do not get enough credit. Just an amazing uh, select group of people. Bill Bradford, Bill Hawth Hawthorne, Jim Algio Jr., my man, Mike Tommaso, Eric Engstrom, Brent the Hammer Herring, Preston Moser, former Falcon star, Josh Ford, and Richie Ashburn Jr. coaching the junior high. And PCTV baseball announcer. Uh -huh. And yes. that name's familiar, too. <laughs> Where do I know that name from? <laughs> well, they said the clock, they said the clock ran off, or I, I don't understand. No, this. there's 5.5 seconds remaining, and they're gonna ask the, the uh, clock operator to reset the clock. Okay. Or they'll just keep it on the field. Meanwhile, Strathaven's band, 1,533 <laughs> strong. <laughs> Seriously, they have. Yeah, in Strathaven, choice A is play football. Choice B is be in the band. Yep. Choice C is transfer down the road so we can remain at AAA. <laughs> <laughs> you get, you take the train out of town. What was that one untimed, one untimed down there? That is correct, and that'll end the first half. All right, it's been a good one. 12-7, Potts Grove is on top. Stay with us, please. Meet Joe Can Do That. Joe Can Do That can fix anything. He can fix your car. He can fix your vacuum cleaner. He can even fix your electrical problems. But do you really want him to? Call Gehringer Mechanical today for all your electrical needs. Joe can do that, does. Is this where you buy comics? Kid, this isn't a library. Hit the road. You should go to Humongo Comics. Hundreds of comic titles from major and independent publishers. Humongo Comics. Manga, graphic novels, gaming, collectibles, and the best selection of anime DVDs in the area for rent or to buy. Humongo Comics. Coventry Square, across from the Coventry Theater, Pottstown. Hey, Bob. What's got you down? I just can't seem to find a pharmacy that's right for me. Grab your cap. I'm taking you to Professional Pharmacy. At Professional Pharmacy, we're open and able to fill prescriptions 365 days a year and accept most insurance plans. Our professional staff offers individualized assistance with a variety of services, and we're the largest medical equipment provider in the area. Professional Pharmacy is awesome! And I love your new cap. Pottstown Cash Traders, located at 232 High Street, Pottstown, PA, 610-705-0304. Monday through Friday, 10 to 6, Saturdays, 10 to 4. Do you have items in your home that are not using or just collecting dust? We buy things for cash. Cash for gold, musical instruments, tools, electronics, CDs, DVDs, and items of value. Highest cash paid. We are always buying and selling. We also buy gold, diamonds, and silver for cash. eBay services are available. Pottstown Cash Traders, located at 232 High Street, Pottstown, 610-705-0304. And welcome back, everybody. First half stats. Not a lot of yardage. Yeah, I mean, if some turnovers. Turnover in the red zone could haunt Pottsgrove by game's end. But, you know, this is Falcon football. They just want to fight toe-to-toe -to -toe with you, lock horns, forget it into the second half. Their third quarter proficiency has been sensational all year. And, Al, I'll tell you, just, just to change the subject for a second, this is the most incredible high school band I've ever seen. Same here, ditto. Not even close. And as Gary Dorenzo was telling us that at the school here uh, for Strathaven, they have a requirement you have to do something outside of athletics. So a lot of these people come out here to fulfill their graduation requirements. This, this is magnificent. And they're going to go into another song. And I, I don't know if our fans at home can appreciate this is as good as it gets in, in terms of musical entertainment. This is better than a lot of college bands.
They must have about 150 flag girls on the team. Yeah. <laughs> As they begin a new song. Must be tough to choreograph this whole thing. Did Gary say they needed five buses to bring this? used to be big back in the 70s. It seemed like every, every school had a nice size band. Not this big. The Philadelphia <laughs> Eagles beg these guys to do their halftime shows every year, and they accommodate when they're available. <laughs> We'll be back with the second half right after this. Everybody, just a, still can't get over that band. <laughs> it's amazing. That was a magnificent performance, and they've got to be, I'm going to underestimate, 300 strong. Yep. Uh, that is, is something you'll see at a pro football game. Now, here you go. The, the Achilles heel at Potts Grove all year has been twofold. Extra point team, which already haunted them tonight, and now the kickoff coverage team. Let's see if they can keep Strathaven inside the 35-yard line. Another good looking kick. This is Devon Howie following his wedge. Pottsgrove, nice coverage. That was one of the best coverages all year. They're kicking uh, purposely away from number 27, Myers, who averages 30 yards per kickoff return. This is a Pottsgrove team that averages 43.4 points per game, a Pac 10 record. They've scored more touchdowns, more points, and more points per game than any team in Pac-10 history. And they have a chance to become the first team ever in our area to score over 500 points. Now this defense has to step up, not let Strathaven eat up a lot of the clock, get a three and out here. Oh, the quarterback will keep it. Look at the speed by Mulholland. You gotta be kidding me, it's a touchdown. Quarterback sneak, 80 yards. Well, when you play a lot of man-to-man -man without safety help over the top, your middle backers have to know it. That is an obvious halftime adjustment. Kevin Clancy is a veteran coach. He saw something at, in the first half. They come right out in the second half and exploit it untouched. We knew he wasn't much of a passer, but the scouting report on the Strathaven quarterback, this kid, when he gets in the open field, can take it to the house. Wow. Extra point, didn't look great, but it got through. That kid was blazing. This defense only gives up about a touchdown a game all year. Strathaven has put up two so far, and the extra point team haunts the Falcons again. We should be tied at 14. 
They missed the extra point, and it's not always the kicker's fault. That would be, you know, the snap, the hold, the kick, the protection. But right now, you just got to respond to adversity. This team has been down this road before. They were losing to Methacton at halftime. They were 35-28 with Perk Valley late. Springford moved the football on them. That was a 12-0 game late. So let's see. It's a real character test to see the resolve and the resiliency of the Potts Grove Falcon team. A little bit of confusion on the return team here, making sure they have 11. Sometimes, Bernie, when the teams come out, some teams are a little looser to start out, a little more warmed up. Potts Grove, one of the best third quarter teams I've ever seen at the high school level, yeah. but uh, that was an inauspicious start to the third quarter. That's our vocab word of the I night like for that. our ABC anchor. Put that on your Twitter account. Okay. Inauspicious. You went to college. <laughs> <laughs> Greaterford State. <laughs> Looked like Polamalu on the return. It was a high kick, taken up to around the 30-yard line. Polamalu's brother, Micah, making us Pac-10 proud, scored a touchdown recently for the Naval Academy, and Brumfield put up a touchdown last week nice. for Division I Eastern Michigan. And, of course, Terrell Chestnut, also Division I, playing for a pretty good team, West Virginia. Yep. And he is a starting nickelback, and he gets to play three more years after this year. So we could be seeing uh, TC in the pros someday. I hope so. He's a nice, nice young man. First down, handoff. Brennan, he's had a good night run of the ball. Gets up to the 35-yard line. That's five yards on first down. This offensive line, we've talked about him. All year, center Zach Birch uh, and starting guard Tommy Safakis, left tackle Patrick Finn, right guard Anthony Pond, right tackle 330 pound O'Connor, first team all state. Jeff Adams and Henry Miller switching in at tight end. Uh, they rock a 4.0 GPA. That's amazing when your O line is that cerebral. Yep. Duke's trying to find some room. And he doesn't have it, man. I'll tell you, Strathaven has played him very well. He's really not gotten a lot of room to operate. Yeah, that is the one uh, factor, the X factor in their offense. Dukes coming into this uh, game tonight. Dukes has 22 touchdowns, 1,166 yards. He was also a 1,000-yard rusher one year ago. He averages 8.3 yards per pop. This is a big third down, a third down. I know there's a lot of football left to be played, but... You know, this is on your play chart. What are you going to choose on third and five? In the past, they've often gone option with number five, Toten the Rock. And they have really not stopped number five. What he's done, it's what he's going to hand off to Brennan. It looks like he has the first down as he lunged up over the 40. Yep, I think he made it. That's going to be close. I don't like the spot, but it looks like they'll get it by a few inches. Good eyes there, Al. Thank you. Al the toe Ganoza. Once in a while I nail it. <laughs> Got to be right in front of me, though. <laughs> yeah, Gary Dorenzo with a nice visit up here at halftime. Yeah, he was in a good yeah. mood. He brought me my Metamucil and, of course, <laughs> made sure that all the food was denture friendly for you. Oh, he always takes care of us. <laughs> when he remembers that we're here. <laughs> hey, he's a good man. That time they were waiting for... Terrell Hudgens. Oh, the fly goes down late. They want uh, Kevin Sherry for pulling him down late. And that's the type of thing that you don't want to happen. Sherry, one of the best football players in the Central League. But when you get a late slam, body slam. Yeah, you can't do that. Yeah, this is not WWF wrestling. I mentioned in the pregame the keys were ball security, physicality, Here's the call. Personal foul. Unnecessary roughness. That's just dumb. After enforcement, first down. Ball security, physicality, and composure. Sherry, as magnificent of a season as he's had, not showing good composure there. First down out of the shotgun. Terrell Hudgens will keep it. Try to go, tries to go behind Brennan. Pretty good run. Take it down by number 58. Henry Barnett. Hudgens coming into tonight's contest 
117 carries, 1,077 yards, 9.2 yards per carry, and 19 touchdowns. And of course, last year, 1,500 yards rushing, 30 plus touchdowns. What an incredible career at, you know, when Terrell Chestnut graduated, people wondered where Falcon Nation was headed. headed and uh, Mr. Hudgens has taken good care of the football program. He's gonna run it here, cutting back nicely. Finally pulled down by number four, that is John Fender, and he was one step away from taking it to the house. Gets it down to the 27 yard line, first down again for the Falcons. Well, this is how champions respond. Pottsgrove capturing their eighth Pac-10 championship one week ago. He has Dukes and Brennan on either side. Hudgens wants to chunk it, had some time, now he's flushed out. Get a chance to turn all the speed, pulled down as he gets close to the 20 yard line. That's gonna bring up uh, a splendid job, two. a splendid job. What you don't see is that the play call was to Fowler take a vertical shot down the left sideline. Fowler was double covered. This is why coaches describe number five as an impact player. You must know where he is at all times because he has such an impact on the outcome of the game. A double-edged sword, Torrey Hudgens. Tommy's up under center. We'll hand it to Brennan. Brennan stuffed. Getting close to his first down, depending on the spot, I think he might be a bit shy. Brandon has seen a lot more action carrying the ball than, than Dukes. And again, you know, a likely path if Pottsgrove survives tonight, a likely path to the road to Hershey, Strathaven, Westchester Henderson, Academy Park, Archbishop Wood, Allentown Central Catholic, and Bishop McDevitt. That's a tough road to hoe. Awesome. Pottsgrove takes a timeout. It's going to be third down at a half a yard with 7.21 left to play, third period. Hi, I'm Patrick Gilbert. And I'm Mike Henkel. Over the past year, our mortal-like philosophy has continued to bring more new Subaru buyers to our doors. Customers tell us they appreciate we offer more savings, more selection, and more value with every new Subaru we sell. So if you're in the market for a new Subaru, stop by and get that mortal-like feeling too. Well Subaru Limerick. Online at wellsubaru.com. And we are back. Pottsgrove, third down is about a half a yard. This game uh, a little different than last year's game. We'll talk more about that after this play. Hudgens eventually handed it off to Brennan, who had a good hole and blasted down to around the 10 yard line. Last year, Pottsgrove came out of the gates on fire. Second play of the game, Hudgens goes 50 yards for a touchdown. Pottsgrove, if you remember, Al, had a 21-7 lead after three quarters last year. A furious comeback by Strathaven. You go overtime, and Pottsgrove wins it 29-28. First down at about the 11-yard line. Hudgens will keep it. Late pitch back to Dukes. Dukes with a hard, tough run inside the five. Gets close to about the three. Well, Dukes, back-to-back 1,000-yard -back season. He is an electric runner, so effortless. He's been contained tonight, but when you are that dynamic of a running back, you can only contain him so long. That's a quiet eight yards in the red zone on first down. Now you got three shots from the three, and you can still get a first down if you get inside the one and a half. Yep. Backs this time of the eye behind Terrell Hudgens. Dukes tripped up as right as he got to the line of scrimmage. Looked like Tavon Howie getting up, and making the tackle. And that will bring up third down. Third down at about two. 
I can say this is four down territory, but all they really need is a field goal to go ahead, but do you trust your kicking game? Yeah, from that hash in high school, you're down two, so a field goal is something you have to consider, and you better have an assistant coach that's circling a two-point conversion play if you score here. Hudgens to Brennan, and he's into the end zone for the touchdown. Cosgrove answers the Strathaven touchdown with one of their own. Champions respond to adversity, that offensive line that just keeps chopping wood. Last year, arguably the greatest offensive line in Pac-10 history. Four of them graduate, and Tommy Safakis, Patrick Finn, Anthony Pond, Madison O'Connor, Jeff Adams, Henry Miller, they just get after people. They stay on their block. Al, this is big here. They need to make it at least a six-point differential. I don't like oh, yeah. a four-point lead at all. <laughs> they put the backs in the eye again. Here goes. Hudgens takes it in easily. We have a late flag. Is that a face mask, maybe? Well, they may call it on the Potts Grove wide receiver. Oh, good call. Wow, I didn't even see that. That hurts. Man, oh man, I hope we can get a replay. That was just a tough call. Out on an island, Hudgens easily coast in. Uh, Fowler, one of the top blocking wide receivers, as are all the Falcon wide receivers. Here, look to the right-hand side of your screen. You'll see number seven doing his dog fight, hands on hands out there. That's yeah. a tough call, man, I'll tell you what, there's nothing flagrant there at all. Uh, I'm not feeling that call at all. That's a gutsy call by an official. These guys are all scored and reviewed by official evaluators. Someone may be having a little sit-down talk after that call. And they're still going to go out well, at this point. They're back there. Might be a long kick. They're going to go for two back at the 13. Hudgens will chuck it end zone. It is intercepted. I don't think they can score. This isn't like college. And I don't like that rule at all. I think it's boring. I think it would be really, really exciting if a, if a high school team can return that for a, a two-point uh, conversion. Yep. Here's an ISO, number 76. In four years now, be, we've been watching this kid do this. He's 6'6", 330 pounds. He gets after people. He pancakes people. He just he automatically negates who's ever lined up across from him. He's first team all state, and he's got a slew of offers and basically the young man can ride his ticket anywhere in the country. I like the fact that he wrestled for a couple years. It made him tougher. He's farm boy strong. He's a smart kid. He's a high honor student, 4.0. And boy, his future is bright. Al, when you're 6'6", 330, you play your cards right. You're jumping rope, doing all the plyos and what have you. Hey, you never know. You could be playing on Sunday. Yeah. You're big enough. Yep. Good point. Now the precarious kickoff coverage team. They're gonna kick it to the top returner in the Central League. Myers hit nicely. Good coverage by Tyrone Parker. He's made a couple of big hits on special teams. Number 34 having a good night. Boy, I'll say that's a much needed improvement that makes them a considerably, uh, markedly better football team. Excellent job on the coverage, Coach Tommaso one of the better special team coaches that you'll see at the high school level. Tyrone Parker, a junior, listed at 6'1", 180. Strathaven scored on one play last time. The quarterback sneak. This time they're going to hand it to Myers using the stiff arm. Myers taken down to the open field by Marquise Bearfield. What a play. <laughs> <laughs> man, oh man, <laughs> you know, he's diminutive, but that was like an Asante Samuel type play. Just take those legs out, you're yeah. not going anywhere. He is so good. Strathaven High School, uh, located in Wallingford. Al, I know you missed the long ride down oh, there. Oh, just a great play. But, it, in traffic, no less. <laughs> that was the best part. <laughs> Second down at about seven. Tavon Howie disappears into about seven or eight Falcons. Pot Strathaven High School started in 1984. 
And we are going to take an ISO cam at the L train, EL number 73, 63, 300 pounds. He gets after people. They are predominantly right handed team because of him. It's a pretty good play by the Pottsgrove defender there. Number 72, Max Wick Wickworth. Big third down play here. Third down at about five and a half. Mulholland getting chased and is taken down. Well shy of his first down. Brennan was in there, or Adams and Brennan. Adams, speed kills. Number four is a very fleet-footed runner. And Adams with that burning desire to get to the football. Man, that's exciting. Falcon Nation is waking up over here. Crowds and cheerleader getting into it. Nice job by the Pottsgrove Chorus and Band before the game as well. Yes, yep. But getting back to the history of Strathaven, it was formerly known as Nether Providence High School and Swarthmore High School, and they combined in 1984 to be called Strathaven, named after a town in England. Turned by Q Miller as he gets it up just inside the Strathaven side of the field. So Potsgrove will have a short field to work with when we come back. Joe's All-American Pub, located at 519 Pikeland Village Square, just off Route 113 in lovely Kimberton. Joe's All-American Pub has all the ingredients for a great night out. Just stir in a great cuisine, season it with an awesome dining atmosphere, and finish it off with your family and friends. At Joe's All-American Pub, family owned and operated, make your next night out at Joe's All-American Pub. Hi, I'm Joe DePaul, owner of Joe's All-American Pub. Come to Joe's, or we'll make sure we'll treat you better than the average Joe. Mark Dukes, spectacular run on first down, breaking tackles, watch this. Again, a remarkable job by the O-line and just juking and jiving, can't touch this. Dukes, thousand yard rusher, back to back junior and senior year. And uh, there is a timeout on the field by Strathaven. Yeah, Strathaven back with its heels a little bit on defense. Potsgrove on top by four and driving for more. We'll be right back. Calm down. It's okay. Give me five again. Come on. Rub it off. All right. All right. Here we go. Give her a hand. Let's do some more sport. Big money. Big money. All right, baby. Big money. All right, that's a healthy spin. That's a nice spin. 50, 200. That 300 is coming. It's coming. Here we go. Here we go. Oh my goodness. Here we go. First 300. Stop. 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 Oh! 300. That's all of you. Oh! All right. All right. And welcome back, everybody. Just in time for Pottsgrove's first down play. 3.28 left to play in the third period. Brennan has it. Pottsgrove just chewing up holes in that Strathaven defense. And it looks like a close to a first down run by Brennan. Man, they're just plowing them. They're wearing them down, Bernie. Yeah, I mean, it's just, it's tradition, and tradition never graduates over here. They don't rebuild, they reload, and what, uh, what the, the job that they did in the three previous years, and I'm going all the way back to guys like Christian Calderon, but Dan Faust, their center, one of the best high school centers I've ever seen. The, the Burger Boys last year, uh, Dylan Pritchard, who blocked for that two-point conversion at Beach Strathaven. These kids saw success when they were in middle school, they got in the weight room. If you're not in that weight room, you're not going to play football for Rick Pennypacker. It's as simple as that. You know, they wonder, how can a triple-A team dominate a league that has five 4A teams in it? People like at Boyertown, Perk Valley, Springford, scratching their heads, along with Methacton and Owen Jay. They, and we're going to go down and hear the cheerleaders. <laughs> Thank you, 
Thank you, ladies. Former student of mine down there, Marissa Oyster. Doing a great job. They have a lot of school spirit mm -hmm. over here, man. Yep. Success will do that. Yep. A lot of principals, uh, they love when the football team has a good fall. Sets a really positive tone in the high school. Gives the kids something to do. There's Hudgens inside the 10, inside the 5, spun down. It's going to be first and goal, Pottsgrove. As Fender saved the touchdown, but Pottsgrove just chewing up the yards. Simply put, he is the quintessential option quarterback. He hardly ever puts the football on the ground. Notice how tight he's covering it, covering it. And all he does is he's a good decision maker, and he has an amazing ability to break tackles. Yeah, he does. The, the, the run he had to win the Pac-10 title against Perk Valley, he must have broke five tackles. First and goal, they're going to give it to Brennan. Nope, Hudgens is going to tiptoe into the end zone. Strathaven was looking, Brennan, number five, kept it and had it all to himself. He makes it look easy, and notice they're running to the right. I like the call here going for one. Uh, but here you can see Madison O'Connor off to that right side. They, they have become a little bit of a right-handed team, and rightfully so, because when you have Anthony Pond and O'Connor and Adams together, that trifecta of granite on that right side why not take advantage of it with an all-state quarterback? Klinger in for the kick, and Michaels will hold. Now the snap is high. The kick is good, though. Nice snap by Tommy Safakis. Watch number 76. Watch how low he is for a big guy. Then he engages and stands up and leg drives so often his opponent is five yards down the field. That's unbelievable. I had a kid at Pottstown in 02. He was 6'8", 340, Brandon Nixon. He did the same thing. The kid gets three, four, five pancakes a game. Pancake being defined as, I put your back on the ground and body slam you now. You're going down. <laughs> unbelievable. People are going to really look back, and I don't know if they retire numbers at Pottsgrove or not, and they don't often retire the number of an offensive lineman, but all this kid has done for four years is answer the bell, show up, and just block people all night long. Bodies on bodies. Pottsgrove seems to have broken the spirit of Strathaven. I think some of these guys are getting on the bus already. Just don't look the same on defense. Here comes Myers. Meyer squirts through a hole, but Adams takes him down. Good coverage again by the Falcons on special teams, although good starting point for Strathaven. Boy, you got to like the call going for one there. We're up here with Jim Algio Jr., uh, a really bright mind in the sport of football. You know, it's like the situation room with Wolf Blitzer up here. These guys are yeah. talking things over. They got the point chart. I like an 11-point lead because now Strathaven can score, go for two, kick a field goal, and you're still alive. You go at least overtime. Really don't need a 12-point lead right now. They insist on trying to test the middle of that line with Tavon Howie, and it has not worked since the first quarter. There's the L train, EL. Eric Leggett, 6'3", 300 pounds. You don't want to pick a side on him because you're going to be getting a good view of the hind quarters of the running back. You see Jim Algio up here in the press box. It's good that one member of that family made it in football coaching. <laughs> his son, or his uh, brother Dan doing a nice job at O'Hara. Oh, yeah. Mulholland. Breaks free from one tackle. Man, this guy is elusive. First down up over the 45, and that may have saved Strathaven so far. Just a splendid effort. If this were one of the Oklahoma tear-off jerseys from back in the day, you can see that a Falcon does get a hold of his jersey. Hand straight, so important, but this kid runs through it. Spectacular effort. That'll move the sticks. That was Zach Birch who got a hand on him. Myers trying to knife off the left side. 
Taken down by Fowler, but he gets up over midfield for a gain of five. A swarming defense. They just love to get to the football. Michaels, Fowler, Miller, Mays, Polamalu. What a periphery of defense. They just keep it contained, and they let that internal core strength, that triangle of pain with the two linebackers in Adams and Brennan and that nose tackle, Pond. You get the feeling if Strathaven doesn't score here and they give it back to Pottsgrove, Pottsgrove's going to take it down the field in about five plays. There's Tavon Howie, finally gets a little bit of room and cranks out five yards and a first down for Strathaven. Yeah, this game's far from over. We're coming up on the 32nd mark till the end of the third quarter. And what a fourth quarter surge Strathaven had a year ago. There's a timeout on the field, it appears. They're going to measure, I guess, or yeah, they will measure. In years past, Strathaven would have about 60 players and they'd have a lot of guys with two platoon. Now they must have guys going both ways. Well, just that there are not a lot of players on that team. And Pottsgrove has six players that go both ways. But as you get in, as they measure on the field, and it is a first down, but as you get into the playoffs, you're going to start encountering teams that platoon. Yep. Archbishop Wood, Allentown Central Catholic, Bishop McDevitt. The, the, that's why it's really good that Pottsgrove had to play Springford and Pert Valley to get battle tested uh, for playing the big boys that play a lot, play 22 players. The ball is at the Pottsgrove 44. Wickward stuffed the ball carrier there. That was Tavon Howie, a little slow getting up. And Polamalu in on the hit as well. I don't think there's any one player on this Pottsgrove team that has improved more than Senny Polamalu. Had a nice talk with his father, Al Polamalu, a star off the national championship team at Penn State. And man, they just, uh, they love to play football in that family. And there's another, that's the end of the third quarter. Pottsgrove on top by 11, but the issue is still not decided. Just down the street, there's a hardware store with great tools, products, and expert advice. <laughs> We've got everything you need. Because we know the community. And we know our customers. So next time you have a home improvement project, drop by your local True Value hardware store. True Value. Start right. Start here. Your True Value expert is A.D. Moyer in Gilbertsville and Pottstown on the web at admoyer.com. Stone's Hearing Aid Service has been helping families for generations since the 1880s. Stop in or we'll come to your home for a free hearing test and evaluation. No charge. We offer entry level to advanced hearing aids from leading manufacturers. And we're always the lowest price. Just compare. After we select the perfect hearing aid for you, we'll even provide you with a free trial. If you don't like it, we'll replace it. Stone's Hearing Aid Service is always available and provides service the way you want it. Myers saw the jet sweep. Oh, Polamalu came from behind and took him down. Could have been a big gain there, but number four stopped him for no gain. Hey, there we are. Algonosa, ABC anchor, legend in his own mind. Exactly. What's left of it? <laughs> Bernie, not a lot of, not a big crowd tonight. Is it the cold? You I think? think a little bit of the cold weather. Yeah. But a lot of school spirit here, and Strathaven traveled fairly well on a cold night. Really. I'll say. Yep. <laughs> Mahola wants to pass. Now he's getting flushed. Well, he's in trouble. Doesn't matter. He gets out of it somehow and gets down to the 43-yard line where it'll be fourth down. And if I'm Strathaven, I'm thinking about going for it because I do not want to give Pottsgrove the football. This is called closing speed. An athlete like number 83, one of your middle linebackers, Adams, he's filling it out. He's in pursuit. He's expecting him to break tackles, and there he is. Wrap those ankles up, and a little help from there for his buddy, number nine, Jalen Mays, who doesn't get enough credit. 
And uh, yeah, I agree with Coach Clancy here. I think you got a punt. You're down 11 on the road. You got 10 minutes left. You're going to need a three, three and out. But you got to watch for the fake punt here. Pretty good looking punt. That is Fowler. He had one called back for a touchdown. Remember that one? Here he goes down to sidelines. And knocked out of bounds. Nice open field tackle by Michael Michella. Botsgrove will have the ball and an 11 point lead starting from their own 25 yard line. Tired of the same old pizza shops and restaurants? Come bring the whole family for an experience unlike any other. Where else can the kids sail on one of two pirate ships and play with SpongeBob or Elmo in our 6,000 square foot family fun center while enjoying the area's best pizza, pasta, cheesesteaks, hoagies, salads, and much more from our huge menu? We pride ourselves in making everything from scratch and using only the finest ingredients. Book your birthday party or rent our banquet room that seats up to 50 people. Come try the boardwalk, where we bring the beach to Pottstown. First down play, Mark Deuce just busts it big right off tackle. His initials are MD. He is the doctor of the big play. Mark Dukes blazing down that right side. Taillights are blinking. Almost takes it to the house. That O-line's wearing him down. Man. Seems like Strathaven has six guys on the field right now. At the 15. Here goes Hudgens. Hudgens looking for somebody to hit. Takes it down close to the goal line around the one. People ask me to contrar or, or compare and contrast Hudgens with Terrell Chestnut. Chestnut, obviously a little bit better athlete, a Division I cat-like D-back playing at West Virginia. Hudgens is a little better at running the option. He is bigger, he's beefier, stronger, he breaks more tackles, and an unbelievable decision maker, and he never turns the ball over. First and goal, the back's in the eye. Hudgens will keep it himself. And he is in for the touchdown. And that may just about do it. This is what champions do. Zach Birch, one of your captains, he plants that nose guard, number 54. He has been so solid the last two years. He was one of the holdovers from that, one of the greatest O-lines ever in Pac-10 history, one year ago. O'Connor and Birch coming back. They needed four buddies, they got him. And this is just a methodical dismantling of one of the top football programs in the state. Now the extra point team. Oh, that's a good looking kick. So Pottsgrove rolling 32 to 14. Meet Dan and his dog, Bongo. They started their own dog biscuit company, but Dan wanted more. So Dan worked with Fast Signs. They created a plan to attract more customers, get more business, wag more tails. Still, Dan wanted more, and Fast Signs provided more. Fast Signs helped with digital displays, mobile marketing, merchandising, fleet graphics, and more. Now Dan has more sales, more locations, more of the good life. And more is exactly what Fast Signs delivers. More than fast, more than signs, more than 530 locations worldwide. Welcome back. As I was saying, I mean, this is a good program, but this is a down year for students. They're five and five coming in here. They got to bury these guys, and there's Don Sealy. What a great job they do at the Mercury. And boy, a lot of congratulations, local teams from other sports. Pope John Paul, girls volleyball, good luck. They're in the state championship game. They are undefeated. And of course, girls soccer, the Hill School's in the state championship game of the independent classification. They have done a good job on Mr. Myers, number 27. As soon as I said that, he busted up over the 35-yard <laughs> line. You jinxed him. I did. 
And of course, in other sports, Pottsgrove Boys Soccer, uh, they made it all the way to the district championship game. The aforementioned state champion, Pottsgrove Boys Cross Country, Upper Perk Field Hockey made it into state. Perk School with a winning record, a good season under Coach Tom Calvario. And of course, we mentioned the action in Burks and another team uh, locally, Wilson Westlawn, looking like a 4A team that could make a run at states. Yeah. Mulholland's got to get three scores. <laughs> he is exciting. I'll give him that. Look, at here he goes down the sidelines. Finally pushed out of bounds by Fowler. I'd give that kid the ball more often. <laughs> he has not carried it enough. Kevin Mulholland, only a junior. Keep in mind now, he, he gets in a foot race here with number seven. Number seven is a 100-meter blistering speed burner. And he's running stride for stride with yep. Fowler. Yep. That says a lot about their quarterback. And he did show a good arm in the first half. First down at the 30-yard line for the men in white. There goes Tavon Howie. Now that's that's how he looked in the first drive of the game. And after that, Pottsgrove has shut him down. Yeah, they have keyed on him. He's an impact player. He broke the hearts of Falcon fans two years ago down there at Coatesville when Strathaven defeated Terrell Chestnut and Pottsgrove for the district championship. Well, Pottsgrove might be seeing Anthony Myers in the future. He is only a sophomore. Second down about five and a half. Strathaven really not hustling up to the ball. If they want to win this thing, they got to make use of their time. Mahon will chuck it, has a man, it is caught. First catch of the game for John Fender, who's had a big night on defense. We, uh, I mentioned earlier in the first half, they're gonna go back to this matchup. You got a 6'3", 190-pound guy on a 5'7", 5'8", guy in Bearfield. Uh, why not exploit the matchup, throw it up, throw up a jump ball. A lot uh, very similar to Notre Dame with Tyler Eifert, the yep. way they just take advantage of matchups. That's a coach's job. Yeah, you're, you're going to have a hard time getting open on Bearfield. Ball is out. Myers fumbled it, but goes right out of bounds. Good defense by Brennan, looked like. <laughs> looked like Brennan separated the ball from the ball carrier. Number 32, it's called closing speed. One of your middle backers, Brennan. He just gets that scrape, that angle, along with Bearfield. Yeah, Bearfield was in there. They just love this team. Just uh, They all have a burning desire to get to the ball. I've never seen such gang tackling by a defense. They are fast. Devon Howie trying to go off left guard. Brendan has a hold of his waist. Birch was in there. So was Adams. Pottsgrove, should they hold on and win tonight by virtue of being undefeated, number three in the state, and the number one seed in Class 3A, District 1, will be home again next week. And I'm telling you right now, they better have, if they hold on and win the night, they better have a great week of practice because next week might be the best team they'll see. Westchester Henderson is the real deal. You better buckle it up for next week. Mulholland. <laughs> I give the kid credit, he doesn't quit. He's exciting. A lot of heart and desire, number four in a white shirt. So often players and teams reflect <laughs> the character of the head coach, Kevin Clancy, a Hall of Fame coach, won two state titles for Strathaven, a college football teammate of mine. And he is a tough guy. And these Delaware County blue collar kids, they might not win the night, but they're gonna let you know they came to play football and get physical on you. Fourth down. Mulholland thinks he sees a crack, and it disappears. And Pottsgrove will take over on downs. They turn him away. Yeah. 
And with 6.26 left to play, that definitely shuts the door. So much of it, Al, is your D-line penetration, unsung heroes for Potts Grove. Number 72, Max Wickward, and number 70, Patrick Finn. Yeah, we've heard about all their stars, the guys who make all the interceptions and touchdowns, but without the guys in there where the fire is hot, guys like Wickward, Finn, and Pond, you're not gonna win a lot of football games. And you better keep an eye on number five or he'll go straight up the gut like he did against Perk Valley. And next thing you do, he's 95 yards down the field going coast to coast. So it looks like you think Potsgrove uh, will have Henderson next week? Things shake I, out? I thought Henderson would end up the number two seed. So I saw it as an eventual district championship game. But Henderson, even though they played Downingtown East, who's number two in the state 4A, tough. It was 6-6, six, six, I think, when they went into overtime. Um, Henderson dropped a little in the standings. So Academy Park, and here you go. Here comes Stokes. Can't hang your head against this gang. Now from top to bottom, this is the best eight I've ever seen in the 3A level District 1. Innerboro's the real deal. Westchester Henderson's the real deal. Pottsgrove, one of the top teams in the state. Phoenixville is physical. They're gonna hit you, and Westchester Henderson one of the top football teams in the state, and you have to play them in the second round. They had some injuries, we'll have to check on that, but they have been solid all year, and they are more than likely the next uh, opponent of the Falcons. There goes Dukes. Yeah, Strathaven just does not look like they wanna finish this game out. I don't blame them. That's gotta be tough going against that Pottsgrove front. It's yeah, I cold. mean, they're just body punching you the whole game. And if you're not conditioned, if, if you're not accustomed to it, this is Falcon football. Welcome to our stadium where our winning percentage is probably in 90 some percent. Coach Penny Packer jokes, he said, we have good luck when you guys do our games. Well, yeah, because you normally win anyway. So you <laughs> it might not have anything to do with us, but. Uh, well, <laughs> and of course, he he loves the fact that we're on the internet now, and coaches from all over the state can watch Potts. <laughs> <laughs> that is about the first solid defensive play Strathaven has had over the last three drives. Now looking way down the road on the road to Hershey, it would take six wins, including tonight. You're an ABC anchor in Harrisburg. You see Bishop McDevitt. How good is this football team? They're number one in the state right now. And they have, they have a lot of speed too. They have, and they have size. They, which, and they, but they chuck the football too. They're balanced. Okay. Of course, the uh, alma mater of uh, LaShawn McCoy, the Philadelphia Eagle running back. I thought they were great last year and they ended up getting beat by 50 points by Aris Bishop Wood in the, fi in the uh, yeah, that was the final. Well, that was a dream team oh, for the ages. Amazing. Last year's Archbishop Wood team had seven Division I players. These are guys who, like the tight ends, playing at Florida. Two of them went to Rutgers. Two of them went to Temple. I mean, <laughs> you don't often see seven Division I seniors on one football team. Now, Archbishop Wood, which is a likely first-round opponent in the first round of states, that would be three games from now, uh, they have a freshman quarterback. So that's a little bit of a question mark, but their, their offensive line, it's like a college line. They're 6'3", 250 across the line. It's Archbishop Wood, and you better buckle it up. And they got a ninth grade quarterback who's very talented, but they have an excellent senior running back. And there we are up in the Falcon's Nest here. Enjoying hey. it. I want to thank the PTA, the Parents Teachers Association here in the Booster Club, sending us lots of food. Oh, they always do a great job. And uh, I'm going to give a tie for the hospitality award. Perk Valley, Potts Grove, and Boyertown share the hospitality award this year. And we do appreciate it. Gary Dorenzo sends us a bill every week. <laughs> we don't pay it. <laughs> Duke's around the left side. Remember Gary used to be uh, athletic director over at Pottstown. Yeah, he's a nice guy. He is. Uh, head coach over at Potts Grove, uh, head baseball coach when Gary was the AD. Extremely supportive. The, the rules that you expect, you know, accountability, 
And he was just a great guy. He played uh, college baseball at Slipper Rock. He was a real good player. And of course, now he's back at his alma mater. Yep. And he's living the life. Married to uh, Ginger Angelo, an uh, excellent teacher at the Pottstown Middle School. And I, I swear Gary does not get any older. To me, he does not look a day over 63. <laughs> oh, all right, I'm done, Gary. You know I love you, man. And no, nor, he does look young. He nor does. do you. And Thank that, you. Well, with you, we know it's the Botox show. I, I feel 78 and, you know, with, with tonight. Ga with Gary, it's, it's just good genetics. <laughs> with you, it's just a real testament to Botox. Thank you. <laughs> One of the many medications that keeps me going. <laughs> the clock inside of 3.30. I think if you talk to Strathaven coaches and players after the game, they're going to tell you this is one of the most physical teams, one of the fastest teams we've seen all year. They might not say it's the best team they've seen because they played Ridley and Imhotep. They got crushed by Imhotep. Im Imhotep Charter defeated Strathaven 68-12. to 12. Wow. Now, that was the second week of the season. Strathaven had multiple injuries, and, of course, Imhotep, uh, had the uh, the running back, the Division One running back, who uh, is ranked in the top three in the country, uh, Kevin Williams, I think his name is, but he was at West Catholic. They threatened to close down. He said, all right, you're going to close the high school down. I'm going to go to Imhotep for my senior year. Imhotep coach says, yeah, I think we can fit you in. <laughs> we'll give you a jersey, ranked number three in the country. Hudgens on the keeper on a second down. Wow, would you ever, th back in the early 2000s, would you ever say that the Pac-10 would have two straight wins over Strathaven in successive years? Yeah, the jinx is gone. And now it's time to set your sights higher, stay focused. And this coaching staff, just an amazing collection of talent. You literally, you know, have three or four head coaches' uh, mentalities, with, along with Jim Algio Jr. and Bill Bradford, your old, your, I'm sorry, your D coordinator, and Bill Hawthorne, your offensive coordinator, add in Tommaso, best special teams coach I've seen. But uh, this, the, f the flavor, the quality of District 1 AAA is unbelievable. Uh, back in 02, we were told you could go 10-0 and 0 and not even make the playoffs. It's the best uh, I've seen since then. Our telecast tonight, directed by Constantine Gostellis. Assistant director is Marilyn Miller. Brennan will take the handoff, first option on the triple option, and dragging a host of tacklers, maybe even a couple of his own blocker, blockers and a referee for yardage. Camera one is Dave Oxen for it. Camera two, Matt Wagner bundled up like he's up here in the Yukon. He's smart, he wore gloves, which I would have. Camera three. She's done the job all year, and I think last year too, Debbie Tellis, she's down on the ground. I know that last name from somewhere. Yep, yep. Camera four, up in the air, Don Lupacchino. Ole's finest. Yes. <laughs> up the road now, and Ole. <laughs> but Brennan's still in a punishing mood, dishing out some hits. Camera five, reverse ankle, Nick Yashinsky. Graphics, Alexander Acuna. Clock inside of 30 seconds left to play. Boy, yeah, that'd be exciting if Hudgens accepts the scholarship to uh, Bucknell be up there with Ross Pennypacker, who is one of the assistant coaches at Bucknell. I think also going up there, still high had a guy, I think he was all-time leading rusher, Jeremiah Young, back and ended up going to Bucknell. So they got some talent. Falcon Nation, jubilation. Pottsgrove, steamroll, Strathaven. Oh, that would have felt good to say that for a number of years. It feels good to say it now. We'll be back to wrap it up after this.
Why are people from as much as 40 miles away driving to downtown Pottstown to purchase their motorcycles? It's simple. KISS Cycles is over 99 years old. They've earned your trust and respect. You'll get a fair deal and a great service department too, second to none. You'll find a large inventory of new Honda and Royal Enfield motorcycles, scooters, and ATVs, and used units of any brand. And KISS Cycles has a financing plan to suit the budgets of all qualified buyers. KISS Cycles, 18 High Street, Pottstown, or check us out online at KISSHondas.com. Score with big savings at Sanatoga Thriftway. Our large selection of food, drinks, and household items at great prices will keep you coming back. Stop by the deli and order a big party platter so you can be fully prepared for the big game. As always, our friendly staff and fast checkout will make your shopping experience quick and enjoyable. Our full-service U.S. Post Office allows you to finish all your errands in one place. Sanatoga Thriftway is celebrating our 13th anniversary of serving the Tri-County area. So stop by and check us out so we can check you out. So Pottsgrove wins 32-14. First of all, talk about Strathaven. That first drive they had, they were grounding out four, three, four, five yards at a chunk. And after that, they found yardage tough to come by. You make a good point. I mean, Tavon Howie showed why he is an elite running back. Back-to-back, 1,000-yard -back, seasons, an offensive line that is very well integrated. And you would expect nothing less from Kevin Clancy, a Hall of Fame coach who's captured two state titles. They fought fiercely in the first half. They come out in the second half. The very first play of the second half, they body punch the Falcons with an 80-yard touchdown. They take the lead. And then seemingly after that, I think it just came down to Pottsgrove's O-line wore them down. They just didn't have enough meat in the trenches to hang with the now 11-0 state-ranked Falcons. You know, I don't know if the Coach Pennypacker had that in mind with punishing, but he ran Brennan a lot, and Brennan had some good yardage. And as you mentioned up there, the Falcon offensive line eventually just wore him down. Yeah, two years in a row, the fullback did major damage. Last year, Robbie Curtin, almost 150 yards rushing, including the overtime two-point conversion to beat Strathaven for the first of two years, what will become a two-game uh, winning streak. And then, you know, you look overall, their body of work, another stellar performance by Rick Pennypacker and his team. This team is battle-tested. They're built for playoff survival. They have so much speed, as you said during the broadcast, Hudgens, Dukes, Fowler, Mays, Miller, Michaels, Polamalu, the list of athleticism just goes on and on. An O-line that just keeps on chopping wood. And now you have to look ahead. You know, they responded to adversity. They answered the call tonight. But the road to Hershey, five games now to win it all, two games to win a district title. It is one of the most difficult roads you'll see. Potentially Henderson, uh, Academy Park. Archbishop Wood, Allentown Central, Bishop McDevitt, this is a team that could answer that call. They're going to have to have rigorous practices all week, but how exciting would that be to have a high school win two state titles in one fall season, the boys uh, cross country winning the other day. Now for the second straight year, Pottsgrove fells the big bad wolf of days gone by. They went 32 to 14. For Bertie Gallagher, I'm Al Ganoza, and for the entire PCTV crew, thank you for tuning in.